Great words from Shah, everybody saying that, that you and Amir have got this fantastic relationship now. Terence Crawford, of course, uh, alongside him. Has the camp been as incredible as Amir is saying? And, and what about this new relationship you've got with him? Because obviously <coughs> at the other end of the table, there's a, there's a, there's a huge history. But this is a new one. Well, I will tell you this. Camp was, it was fun. Most, most important thing. Uh, he pushed it. He grinded it out. And uh, he didn't complain not one time. Um, we went through four or five, maybe six sparring partners. Um, I tried to push him and push him and push him to him. So I could hear him say I quit, and he never said it. He just kept, kept going, kept going. And um, me and the team was proud of him. Obviously, you've trained Terence Crawford, and he's, he's the pound-for-pound pound king. It's fantastic to have him here uh, this week. But, of course, your man beat Amir. Uh, thinking back to when Lennox Lewis got knocked out by Oliver McCall, and he took Manny Stewart to sort of rebuild him. Why did you take on Amir Khan? Did you, did you see something even in the fight against Terence that made you think, you know, I want to work with this guy? Well, one thing I was convinced of that uh, he wanted more than Kel did because Kel only went three rounds. So... <laughs> Amir, he came in there trying to fight. So what I did was when I sat down with the team and we decided we was going to take Amir on, all we needed to do was sharpen the, sharpen the iron, sharpen the tools, because he was a threat. And he's going to be a, definitely a threat come Saturday night. What sort of performance are you predicting from Amir, and how does it end? I'm going to tell you like I tell everybody else. We train for 12 rounds, but if the stoppage is there, we're going to go for it. Down to Dominic Ingle, who has known Cal forever. Uh, you're back together. Um, you've said to me about the, the, the Sean Porter camp and how pleased you are with Cal, that he's done absolutely everything this time around. But we all know it's not just the physical preparation, it's the mental one as well. He's wanted this fight. I'm sure you have for a long, long time. Yeah, it's the fight You know, we've been waiting for. To be honest, I'm surprised that Amir has actually took the fight and his team have took the fight because... In the position where he's in, he's a bit of a celebrity, he's a bit of a superstar. It's not probably a fight he needed to do because it's not really going to benefit him apart from the money. If he wins this fight, he's got more to lose than he has to gain. And I'll, I'll tell you now, if I win his position as his father, I'd say, why do you need to take this fight? We can't actually believe that Khan's turning up for this fight, that he agreed to this fight. Because, you know, we needed the fight, Kel needed the fight, Khan didn't need the fight. So he's got everything to lose and really nothing to gain because people expect him to beat Kell Brook anyway. The only thing what's kind of, you know, thrown a fly in the ointment is that the book is a with Kell and that's going to, like, affect all the people, all his friends. Kell said, you know, get a bet on me. The odds aren't very good to bet on Kell to win because he's a favourite. So, you know, I wouldn't have took the fight if I was Khan. It's not really something he needed to do. And to be honest as well, I expected a bit more from Brian, a bit more verbal because he's a good talker. I thought this press conference would be a bit more lively, you know, because he likes to shout off a little bit. He knows everything about Kelbrook. So it will be interesting if he actually does know about Kelbrook. I think all he knows about Kelbrook is what he's seeing against Crawford. And, you know, you know it wasn't much different, it wasn't much different to, to what Corn did. But the thing is, Corn took away out. He said he got it in the balls and that was it. Done. He didn't want to get the final knockout. So, you know, we're going to see on Saturday night, the talking's going to be over. It's going to come down to the physicalities of it all. You know, Corn is a very good talker. I love listening to him. I love it. I love it. But on the night, there's not going to be any talking. It's just going to be down to who wins, who punches the hardest, who's got something left. And I believe, I believe, Kel's got more in the tank and more left than Amir Khan. That's what this fight is down to. Who's got more in the tank? And it's down to me as a trainer, you know, to believe that Kel's got what he's got left. It doesn't matter to Bone Mike whether... Khan wins or not, because he's still got Terence. He's still got that paycheck coming in every fight. Khan's just a bit of filling in time, that's all it is. He's a brave man taking on Amir Khan, that's all I'll say. So, Dom. Yes, Amir. I mean, I mean we want to ask Yes, Amir, question. how are you? The, I'm like, hey, Good. Good. What did the sweat taste like? <laughs> it you know what? Do you know what? It tasted fantastic. Did it? It did. I got a question. I got a question. Sometimes I got a question. we regret the things we do. I got a question. We don't we? Go on, I got a question. Go on, Brian. You said, go for it, Brian. You, you said, mm -hmm. you said, uh, we, uh, you know, why I take the fight. Uh, I saw all about the paycheck. Let me ask you a question. Mm. You know how much Kel got left in the tank, don't you? That's why you didn't come over and fight us. 
in America. Because you knew, you knew, you knew, you knew he wasn't going to do anything in that fight. Do you know what? So you, let me, let me say something to you. Yeah. This, the, the, the tr train of thought, the train of training, whatever the case got to be. Sorry. It ain't going to change. Sorry, what, what? It's not going to change. Sorry. You know how much he got left in that tank, don't you? Oh, I know. Yeah, exactly it's for the paycheck for you. Yeah. No. You know it is. Because he, he has nothing. I've you had, know that. I've had a lot of, I've had a lot of No, he, tank. no, Kelly. Kelly don't have nothing left in that tank. You reckon, you reckon. You know that. You know Y'all just going yeah. through the motions. Yeah. Y'all going through the motions. You think? He hasn't fought since Crawford. Oh, okay. What is he doing now? What he been doing? Walking the streets and do, partying, being in limelight Brian, and all that? Brian, he ain't Brian. gonna do Who did? He ain't gonna do Who did in me a fight after, 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 Now you done woke me up. You woke me up now because you're like, oh, he's doing alive, look. Go on, press conference. He's come alive. Come on, Brian, keep going. Please. Come on, keep going. But not too Please. much. He not too much. Do I want to see what? you getting in that ring on what? Saturday night. What? Not killing over, nothing. yeah? What? Keep shouting. He ain't going to do nothing. Go on. You done? He ain't going to do nothing. What? Have you done right? Okay, then. The reason I didn't train him for Crawford is it wasn't enough time to get him into oh, the Oh, now you want to explain. You should explain that when he got it. when he went over there. Keep shouting. <laughs> Keep shouting. Is that it? You done? Yeah? I'm done okay. when I say I'm okay. done. Good, good. You done? I'm done when I'm saying right, I'm done. You, have you finished? Can I talk now, yeah? Yeah? Okay. We both Now, every time we... you talk, oh. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> Shut up. Hey! Shut up. Shut up. Wait, what? Can I talk now? You finished? No. me off. Oh, he ain't going to do s***. He shot. Listen. He shot. Listen. He, Brian, good for three. Brian, he good for four rounds. Now, I'm going to keep it real. Brian He's is... good for four rounds. It's going to be a tight-ass fight for the first couple of rounds. But after that, he's going to start dwindling away. Watch. Somebody check his blood pressure. He know that. You know that. Your whole camp know that. You know that. It's you you come for the paycheck. Right. It's you the one come for the paycheck. So, we've got Brian, who's training him here. Former boxer. Very good. He had a good knockout ratio, 63%. Unfortunately, it was him getting knocked out. And that's probably why it's going to work with him and Khan, because he can probably talk Khan away through them. Knockdowns that he had. So what, what, that, what, what that got to do with them exactly. two fights? Got nothing what to that do got to do it. with them two fights? Now down. you want to try to attack me? You want to attack me? Calm down. I couldn't attack you. Ah, them taxes ain't gonna work, partner. You. It ain't gonna work. You. Them two got to fight, not me and you. Exactly. He ain't got to fight but me. Kill ain't got to fight you. Why are you doing the talking? It's not you. That ain't gonna Calm work. It's not gonna work, man. That ring on Saturday night. You're not. You're not. We're gonna need two sets of paramedics. Okay. Okay, Dom. Brian. Yeah, one for you? No, not for me. I'm fine. Okay. 